All right, let's get our test code in here. I'm going to paste that in as well. And let's talk through what's happening, what's different from before. Now, the first thing you'll notice is these squiggly lines for these modules I'm importing from the describe function, the it function and assert. I'm prefixing those modules with the node colon to indicate that that's a built in package that we're relying on or module we are relying on. Now to get the squigglies to go away, if you're running into these with Visual Studio Code or whatever editor you might be using, we need to install the types for node as part of the package. So bring up your terminal, run npm i hyphen d so that it's a dev dependency it's the shorthand for that just like i is shorthand for install we're going to say et types slash node once that's set up and installed you'll notice the squigglies go away okay now let's talk about what's happening here so one of the things that's different here from in terms of how we assert our tests results is the functions that are available off of the assert module built into node versus what's available from mocha and chai so let me show you the original code from what was used in the blog post to what's now so you can see the difference. So you'll notice that we pull out the assert function from the chai module and in it, it has like helper functions off of it to make sure that the output we see here is object as an example is a function or that this package here has a property that's named hello world and that type of thing. Or the fact that hello world is a function. We wanted to test that. That changes a bit when you're using the built in tools for Node.js.